Hello, in this video, we will introduce event-driven programming and animation in chapter 15. Suppose you are going to write this program to create a graphic user interface, let the user enter annual interest rate, number of years, loan amount, and click the calculate button to get the monthly payment and total payment. How do you write this kind of code? So you need to have this event-driven programming. So when the user click this button, so this is the event, and this pro program will compute the monthly payment and total payment upon this button is clicked. First, so we're going to write a simple test program here. Is this, we have these two buttons, uh, OK button and a cancel button. When the uh, user click the OK button, we're going to display the message on the console. OK button clicked. Click the cancel button. The cancel button click the message is displayed on the console. So let's see how we're going to write this program. We will write the program to have this button here is the source of the event. When you click the button, it triggers the event, and the event is now processed by the handler. So the handler will take the event, now get the signal, and to process it. So this is the diagram of this source of the event and the event and the code for handling the event. So in this sequence, the object, this event object must be an instance of the event handle. See this must be this, uh, the, uh, when you um, handle this uh, uh, event, the, uh, the object, so this is the handler, the object, must be an instance of the event handler interface. This interface defines the uh, common behavior for all handlers. So this is the generic type, and this is to handle the event. So this is what kind of event is for when you click the button, that's the action event. The event handler object handler must be registered with the event source object using the method source.set on action with the handler. So the handler will listen to the event from the source. So this is the program here. We're going to write a GUI program using JavaFX. So this extends application. Now we create the user interface. So this is really simple, just uh, using the edge box. You put the button, OK button, and um, the cancel button to the uh, user interface. So now this is the, put these two buttons into the user interface. So now we're gonna create the handler. So this is the handler's object, creating from a class. So this is the OK handler class. So right here, this is OK handler class. So this is the handler. Handler must be registered with set action on using this method to be registered with the handler. So this is, the, this is how it is associated with the event. So OK handler must implement the event handler interface. So here is the action event. And now we are going to write this code here. This is public void handler. So it is going to handle this using this action event.
So this method is invoked when you click the button, the OK button. So this is the similarly for the cancel button. So this is the cancel button that the handler is handler two. So this is set action on for handler two. So this two classes, OK handler class, cancel handler class, it's this is all here. And this is the red treasure for the uh, handler one, and this is the handler two. And this is the handler one is for the OK button, handler two is for the uh, cancel button. So look, this is the handler, this object must be an instance of event handler for the action event. And this interface has the method handler. So when you invoke, uh, when you click the OK button, it will notify the handler. So the handler will invoke this handler. Uh, it's, it's a handle method, we will invoke the handle method. So the handle method will display OK button clicked. This is introduction to the event-driven programming. We're gonna look at more in the next video. See you on the next video.